Hi folks. Just gonna show you one pose in our little brief, brief practice today. It's a figure four at the wall. Having this in your mind as you do a free open space figure four um, can really help to reap the benefits of this pose. So let's come to any wall that you have around your space and let's bring the sit bones to the wall and ease yourself up so that the legs are um, coming up the wall or that you can put the feet on the wall. Now scoot yourself away from the wall enough. This takes some adjusting, but believe me, it's going to feel great afterwards. Take the feet against the wall so that you have a 90 degree angle with the sacrum on the floor aligned with the back of the skull. And we're getting ready to do a figure four here. This is wonderful for the piriformis and the hip flexors. Inhale the left knee towards the chest, keeping that right foot on the wall and a nice strong footprint on the wall. And inhale the left knee towards the chest, take the left ankle to the right thigh, pressing that right foot into the wall, Find your sacrum in space and it might have lifted up a bit. So we'll take that left hip and drop it down towards the wall. And notice here the sensation along that right thigh, the side of the thigh. Keep the arms grounded on the floor here. As you notice the connection point. So you've got your right foot on the wall, your left foot is acting in a very active way, so it's flexed. You can even take your right hand to that foot and press into the foot. Take the left hand to the left thigh, press the thigh into the hand and the hand into the thigh, and then release, square off your hips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So you may have noticed some sensations already, some expansion into those glutes on the left side. And then you can grab for that right thigh with your clasped fingers and bring it closer to the chest at this point. But see if you can first establish against the wall a nice evenness through the hips and keeping that energy through the leg very active. And we can even lift the right leg up, supporting the back of the thigh. Feel free to take a pressure of your right thigh, the back of the thigh into the hands of the hands into the thigh. Feeling a hamstring stretch here as well. Take that active right foot back to the wall and unwind the left leg. Inhale, we're gonna kick the feet to the wall again. Exhale. Your next inhale, we'll take the right knee towards the chest and take the right ankle over the left thigh. Sacrum, find some evenness there on the mat. We want to drop that right hip down towards the wall. Keep the left foot planted strongly on the wall. So when you press through that foot, you're really going to feel the awakening along the legs, even into the core. Find that right hip in your mind's eye. Take the arms out to the side, along the body. Keep your right foot active. Take time here to allow some opening that if this opening otherwise were rushed, maybe it wouldn't be so expansive. Inhale, exhale, take your hands to the back of that left thigh and bring the thigh towards the face, keeping those feet super open as if you're trying to make a strong footprint on a surface.
Inhale and exhale, three part breath, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, belly, ribs, chest. Press that back of the thigh into the hands and vice versa. And then we can feel free to straighten out that left leg, press the thigh again into the hands, hands into the thigh. Bend the left knee, find the floor with that foot. Take your right hand to the right thigh, just because add it on this side. Counter pressure, thigh into hand, hand into thigh. Release with your breath, anything you don't need. Take the feet to the floor. If you want to inch yourself towards the floor and bring the legs up the wall to finish this sequence, luxuriate in the most wonderful wall pose with them up the wall, restorative anti-gravity pose. Inhale, exhale. Linger here as long as you'd like or roll over onto your side, back to a seated position. Give yourself one more celebratory breath. Hands at the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Thank you so much for joining me in this mini, mini practice. Namaste.